A few weeks ago, we quickly explained 3D printing in general, and we saw that there are many different technologies available. Today, we're going to focus on resin 3D printing. Even though all resin 3D printers use a type of liquid called photosensitive resin, which solidifies when exposed to UV radiation, we can easily distinguish three different resin technologies. These three categories differentiate themselves from each other due to the light source used and the method of shaping said light. First comes SLA. Stereosography apparatuses were introduced and patented in 1986 by Chuck Hall at 3D Systems. They use a laser which is directed by a galvanometer. The galvanometer is a kind of mobile mirror able to move the laser anywhere along the X and Y axis. Then comes DLP, which was actually created and patented by Texas Instruments for projectors. DLP 3D printers basically use a projector to shine UV light up to the vat, which is a tank containing the resin. Digital light processing uses a beam of light, which is redirected thanks to tiny mirrors to turn each pixel either on or off. Finally, let's talk about MSLA. Despite the name resemblance, mass stereolithography apparatuses don't have much in common with SLA. MSLA actually uses an LCD to mass a UV light source. By turning each pixel on or off, the LCD acts as a stencil able to create 2D shapes for the UV light to shine through. As we just said, resin 3D printers all fall into either three of the categories we mentioned. SLA is the best for precision, whereas DLP and MSLA are quicker, especially when making bigger parts or multiple parts at once. But some manufacturers are trying to improve these technologies. These include Formlabs, which has created a type of SLA called LFS, Carbon, who developed DLS based on light projection, and BCN 3D, which patented a technology called VLM, which uses MSLA at its core. Despite the differences during the printing process, all resin technologies share the same post-processing steps. After being printed, the part has to be cleaned from the excess resin and then post-cured as it's only partially cured during the printing. To ease the washing and curing of prints, some post-processing machines are available. With resin 3D printers not all relying on the same technology, you can already guess that the resin 3D printing market is very broad. You can find resin machines ranging from small desktop machines to big SLA printers. The more affordable machines often use MSLA, whereas the more expensive and especially the big ones tend to use SLA. Resin machines allow a lot of fine application, thanks to their precision and great detail reproduction. Resin 3D printers are used for a lot of industries like jewelry and dental. To see a resin 3D printer in action and post-processing, check out this video. What do you think of resin 3D printing? And what's your favorite resin technology? Share your thoughts in the comments. See you soon on 3D Explained.